Hey artists, Miss Kit Lang here. And I, uh, 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 choo! Oh, <laughs> sorry. I had a little tickle in my nose. <laughs> sorry. You're right. We need to be really mindful about our germs and how we are using tissue and how we're washing our hands and keeping us healthy, but everyone around us. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make a germ jail. Huh. Germ jail. It's great for keeping our dirty tissues in a jail so they don't get on anyone or anything else. So to make a germ jail, you just need some simple materials, an empty tissue box, some scissors, safe scissors, and maybe some markers to add some writing and some drawings of those uh, gross, disgusting germs. So let's take a look at the video and see how you can make your own germ gel. To make your germ gel, you will need some tape. I forgot to mention that in the intro, so make sure you have some tape or even a stapler could work as well and liquid glue, um, but tape is the best to uh, to close our box back up. So first thing we do, we want to open up our box and reverse it so the inside becomes the outside. I've already lifted all the tabs for you so you can speed up the process. So my job now is to fold the creases the opposite way they want to bend so we can easily put our box back together just having the inside become the outside. Then closing the box back up. Get some tape ready. Might need another hand or paw if you only have your cat to help you to close this box back up. This is where you could staple it as well if you didn't have those uh, the, the tape. So you just see what you have in your house. Use what you have. Last side. Stick those down quite strongly so those germs don't escape from jail. And you have your germ jail. It's up to you how you want to decorate your germ jail. You can write germ jail on the front or the top. You could draw some germs as well um, to decorate. You could even take some post-it notes if you don't have construction paper, or if you do, you could use that as well, and cut out some gross-looking germs that you could add onto your germ jail. So I'm going to do that quickly and decorate mine. Let's speed things up so you can see the final jail. There, I have my germ jail. Now I can be really safe by putting those germs and locking them away in jail. Great, go ahead and go forth and make your own germ jail for your family to keep everyone safe and healthy.